Well, let's begin with some news coming from tech world. And here, South Korea's Hyundai and Kia, they have said they are not in talks with Apple on developing any autonomous vehicle. Well, this sent their shares tumbling. In early last month, Korea's Economic Daily TV reported that Apple and Hyundai, they were in discussions to develop self-driving electric vehicles by 2027 and develop batteries at U.S. factories operated by either Hyundai or its affiliate Kia so far this year. Hyundai shares have advanced 30%, while Kia has rallied 63% on reports that they may build Apple car. Apple has never acknowledged talks with the automaker about building vehicles. Reuters earlier reported in December, Apple was moving forward with autonomous car technology and aiming to produce a passenger vehicle that could include its own breakthrough battery technology as early as 2024. And in signs that companies and households were continuing to hold cash to guard against the prolonged damage from COVID-19 pandemic, Japanese bank deposits have surged at a record annual pace last month. Total deposits at commercial banks were up around 10% last month from last year. It hit 806 trillion yen or 7.6 trillion dollar. It accelerated from a 9.3% gain in December. Companies were piling up money from subsidies and loans they took up as a precaution against the health crisis, while households were holding back on spending due to the third wave of infections. The pace of growth in bank lending slowed, however, as big borrowers have already amassed precautionary loans to weather the hit from pandemic. Outstanding loans held by Japan's four main categories of banks, including Shinkin or credit unions, were up 6.1% in January from last year, to hit a record 578 trillion yen. Bank of Japan has eased monetary policy twice last year to cushion the economic blow from COVID-19, including by creating a new lending facility aimed at channeling funds to cash-strapped firms via financial institutions. While lending by cash-strapped firms has peaked, the government decision to impose new state of emergency in Japan and curbs from January to prevent spread of virus has clouded outlook for world's third largest economy. And with Brent futures nearing $60 a barrel, boosted by supply cuts among key producers and hopes for further U.S. economic stimulus, the measures to boost demand are also backing them, and oil prices have gone up today morning once again. Brent crude for April, it touched a high of $59.95 a barrel. It was up 51 cents or 0.9%. Front month prices last hit $60 on February of 20, 2020. Meanwhile, US WTI intermediate crude futures, they advanced 54 cents or 1% to $57.39 a barrel, higher since January last year. A weaker dollar against most currencies has also supported commodities, with dollar-denominated commodities becoming more affordable to holders of other currencies. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia's pledge of extra supply cuts this month and next month on the back of reductions by other members of OPEC. Well, it has overall lead to, led to overall price hikes. Russia is also helping to balance global markets. Stronger crude prices are encouraging U.S. producers to increase output while anti-coronavirus lockdowns across parts of Europe and Asia are keeping a lid on fuel demand. The U.S. oil rig count, an early indicator of future output, it was at its highest since May last week. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.